Paul, first of all, what are your, your thoughts on the game? I thought uh, it was a really good game. Both sides tried to win it. Um, I thought there was a remarkable amount of good football played on such a difficult surface. Disappointed when you get a goal in front to lose the lead, but we haven't done that very often. And it was a it was a uh, an unusual mistake from Jake, which uh, which led to the go led to the goal. So uh, disappointed to lose the three points and end up with one, but it's a good point gained against a team that's on a good run. And um, you know, I, I, I certainly don't have any any hard feeling with how the team played today, how they committed and defended and. We did a lot right today and, and, and played some good football on a really tricky surface. Mm. It was quite kind of unique, I suppose, to see it right on full time. It seemed like every single player on the pitch went down hands on knees. It, was, it must have taken it out of them a lot. Well, it's, it's hard work out there, you know, the game was stretched. I mean, you know, Carlisle, um, it's where they play. They put pressure on your, on your back too and they push you back and the defenders drop deep to get it to play forward. So there's, there's a lot of space in that midfield, so I wanted to somehow have three in there most of the time, which we did, and we, it looked like our best chance was going to be through the lines with Hiram or Carl Edwards and, I was, and Jake Taylor. I was trying to get them in the right place just to make the difference. We had to defend at the other end, and there were some really good performances. I thought Jordan Tilson was, was fabulous today sort of in, a, in a midfield role, and Hiram was on top of his game. And Yeah, they are tired, but we've got a game Tuesday, and we get on with it. Yeah, and also it doesn't help, I suppose, that two, you have to make two changes before half-time. Well, that meant actually that what, that, what that does to you is it means that you can't afford to make a change on sort of 55, 60 minutes because you just can't put all your eggs in one basket at that point. So, of course, you then delay it and now you're into the last 10 minutes and really what you're looking for or waiting for is a necessity to make a substitution and uh, there were plenty of players who were tired but sometimes you're in it and you've just got to keep going and there were plenty of ideas we had but also, you know, there's a risk of what you might lose by making a change. So, um, the two early substitutions did us no favours whatsoever. Um, you know, Jordan Moore Taylor's knee. Uh, we'll, we'll get it scanned, but we're, we're, we're a little bit uh, pessimistic about what the outcome will be. Uh, and Lee, what about him? Lee, had a, he had a, a, he rocked on his ankle, and he's, you know, it's uh, something that he's had. Remember his injury at uh, Yeovil, etc., in the past, and. We'll have to see how he is. Hopefully, it'll just be a day or two. And but he was he was he was uncomfortable. Um, I'm not sure actually whether he, he he rocked over on it or whether he got a knock on it. But either way, he was too sore. Um, just going back to the game slightly again now. I mean, they kind of they're quite a physical team, aren't they? Got their, their, their back line are all big units. They've got a big target man up front. How you know? How do you feel you managed to, to deal against most of their threats today? We weren't surprised by it. So you know, we've done our due diligence and. We know how, I mean, we've, we've played enough against Carlisle recently to know the premise of their, of their, of their attacking strength. And they, that they really came at us today, the first 20 minutes of the game, first quarter of the game, they really, with a breeze, with that sun behind them, it's very hard to defend that. Uh, we make a couple of adjustments in midfield and Jordan Tilson came into his own and I, I think the, the, the sec, the, the, that sort of second period of the first half, I think we got on top. So. Um, yeah, we, we, we knew what we would get from them. They got some real, you know, um, obvious attacking strengths and they played to them and, um, you know, we did okay with it. Yeah, and he did, I, I thought some of the football he played was, was really good considering the pitch. He scored a good, good goal at a good time as well, just before half time. Yeah, good goal. We had, we had a little sort of uh, medley of, of set pieces and kept the ball alive and keep the ball in there long enough, something happens, and it did, and it fell to Dean, and it was a nice finish. Um, at 1-0, I, you know, it, it was a case of, it's hard to score here when you're a goal behind, um, as we found out uh, one or two times this year. Um, so we were, you know, we were expecting it to, 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 to draw on through that second half and maybe catch them out with Jake Taylor or, or, or Kyle Edwards for a second. And Jake almost got in a couple of times, and so did, Jake, uh, so did uh, Kyle and... Um, at the end, I think both sides probably settled for the draw. And that last 10 minutes it sort of could have gone either way, it was end to end. Players played really well and tried really hard and obviously we've got some, some issues now going into Tuesday with selection and injuries. Yeah, I was going to just briefly ask you about Tuesday, you pretty much covered it, but it's, it's going to be game after game after game now. Because it is. We've got, a good, uh, we've got a really good 
we've got a really good um, squad, and that's you know, that's the benefit of having strength and depth. We've got that, and you know we've taken a long time to get Troy and Jordan back in central partnership, and uh, we may have to you know look again to those in who, who, who deputise. I mean, Dean Mock did a really good job again coming in today during the game. I'm not sure he'll to get his position he'll play every week. Um, from the start, but uh, there we are, we, we've got a good squad, that's what they're there for, um, those players have got to be ready.